This is where I start talking about the film My Uncle Was a Vampire, which was released in 1959. Christopher Lee had just made one of the best Dracula films of all time in 1958. You make a great film, Christopher Lee, so what do you do? Well, you fly to Italy to spoof that film. I do not know if the film was actually released in America in theaters, but the film was released on television in 1964 in America. Yes, the Hammer Girls were a popular fad in the 60s and 70s for monster fanboys. The Hammer films would have pinup type shoots with pretty actresses posing seductively to help promote the release of their films. To become known as an extremely good actress. I hope to get an Oscar sometime. Hammer actresses were mostly not British because the proper British woman was too prude to do such drivel. My Uncle Was a Vampire was a sex comedy that does not stand the test of time. Later films in Italy got scarier in Italy because of the Hammer film's popularity in Italy. Italy showed more skin when the censors around the world started to become more liberal. My Uncle Was a Vampire becomes just a bizarre piece of film because the purpose of showing scantily clad women just seemed tame compared to the sex comedy of the 80s. You saw more skin in horror films of the 80s than this film. You will find yourself just giving up by the 15 minute marker of this film. Lee appears 20 minutes after the film starts unless you want to count the casket of the count. You oh, don't do that. You have to love the Germans after World War II. Japan and Germany became to be known as the perverts around the world. Germany had their dirty films and Japanese had their dirty comic books. I think a lot of this is because of the military bases that were put there after World War II in those two countries. Thank you, Marshall Plan. The vampire happening has the same plot as most vampire films. It has a castle and gothic dreams, then at a monastery of monks, an all-girls school, a funny gay guy, one sexy vampire, and perverts who wrote the film. And you got yourself one bizarre vampire sex comedy for the likes of 42nd Street or any X-rated theater at that time. If you like the X-rated classics, then this film is for you. But the bizarre situation the plot has set up to see how bare natural breasts in the 70s can make one feel very sleazy. Who's your daddy? Be the envy of your friends. Wear the sexy cosplay t-shirt. Wear it on a podcast. Wear it to convention. It's comfortable. Heck, even sleep in it. Your girlfriend will love it. You will love it. Click on the link below and get your sexy cosplay t-shirt shipped to you.